Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I had a video stashed away of working on the bus that I haven't put out. So I put it all together and I made it. So we're going to be working on the bus. So this was like a year ago. So obviously it's going to be in the garage and in front of the garage. The rag top is not here. So like I said, just a little different, just kind of like a throwback. So it's not like I moved the bus in and the rag top's gone. They're just old clips. So hopefully you like it. It's a little break from the ragtop and the sports bug and the black beetle. It's a vehicle that I don't think I've worked on in a year on YouTube. So hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys. So we're working on this rear quarter panel here on the passenger side. My goal with the bus is to do one section at a time, prime it and keep moving around. So by the time I'm done, it's already in primer. The primer's been sitting, so it's died back to where it needs to be and I can block it. So we're working on this window channel here. Previously, it was all rotten. Looked a bit like this piece in here that I'll have to get out with some pliers, but we cut it out, ground it back. We're leaving this. This is the seat belt holder. And I left this section. Well, you can see what it looked like, but it's got the bump in there. So I'm leaving that there just to know where the bump is, but it will get cut out and replaced. So we're doing this section. Then we'll do this section separate and this section separate. Top is fine. We'll grind out in here with a uh, cleanup disc and a seam sealer. Sand it all down. Do the lower quarter. Clean up in here. Sand it down, use the surface conditioner. Maybe use the DA, which is somewhere. And uh, epoxy and some high build. We'll let it sit. Work our way around. By the time we get back to here, this will have sat probably three or four months so that it's died back enough and then we can uh, block it out. All right, guys. So what we're doing here is we're breaking the outside panel away from the inside panel or what's left of the outside panel. So we're drilling out the spot welds using the spot weld bits that I love. These things made by Spitznagel. I'm sure other companies make them too. And then we're taking the chisel and just hammering it. The lip's getting a little messed up in a couple spots, so we'll just hammer and dolly it flat. And then we can either plug weld or use a spot welder to put the new piece on. All right, guys, it's a beautiful day. We're getting stuff done. I'm not filming very much because I suck at filming, but here's what we got going. I got a nice coat of seam sealer here. There's no seam to seal there. What I did is I put this down as a base. So when I go to put the quarter panel on the factory, had this big foam sealer type that they squeezed in there to stop vibrations. We'll do that with seam sealer. This is all seam sealed up. This was a patch. We're gonna put more sealer there. This outer piece is now officially spot welded to the inner piece. Use the old Harbor Freight spot welder. Worked great now that I got the right gauge extension cord. This is seam sealed, I had to make all this. Drilled the panel out of here. We've made this panel. That's gonna slide in there, get plug welded. Then we'll make the drop down for that. After that, we'll focus on the underneath and the frame. We have something special going on with the frame. Exciting stuff. This piece, the outer quarter panel we've got here. Now to make this fit, I had to slice it. So I sliced it, tack, tacked it all, gonna tic tac it across, then I ground it, used the body file, it's not bad. We're gonna tic tac it across again. When it's on, file, little plastic, you'll never know. All fun stuff. All right guys, it is dark now. So it's about 10 o'clock, we've been working on this probably six or eight hours. And so here's what we've gotten done. This piece here, we made this. It's the little tray. Made that, welded it in. So inside we got it all butt welded. It's not the prettiest, but it'll do. My welder's being a little finicky right now. It needs a new uh, gun and liner kind of deal. It's kind of getting stuck in the gun as it's coming out. So it's being a little annoying, but it's welded, it's solid, seam sealer. It'll be fine. See that hole back there still? We're going to patch that from the inside. Stuff like that behind the seat. 
I don't really care for making it look perfect or not. I mean, you don't see it ever. I undercoat everything, so it doesn't really bother me. Here, we got to use the real spot welder uh, that I got at Harbor Freight. That did a great job on that bottom flange. Here, we did regular weld. As you can see, towards the end, it's a little weird looking. It's because the metal's really thin on the other side. Wasn't taking it too nicely, but it's welded. So, no big deal. So now, before we go in, we're gonna seam seal it all up. And uh, tomorrow, maybe we'll get the quarter panel actually on. So deciding what I wanna do here, I was gonna use seam sealer because the factory put this foam stuff here, but uh, Sem makes this foam closed cell so it won't hold water that we might do instead, not sure yet, but get it all seam sealed up. All right guys, and here we are all seam sealed up. I made it look pretty there because uh, I could. The rest of it down here, you can't really see, so it's just kind of doing its job, sealing the seam. Same thing there. Of course, this is all gonna get kind of painted eventually, so it won't really matter, but uh, it's a good option to have. Now the factory never really sealed these seams, but I decided I wanted to just in case any water did get in there. It didn't get beneath panels. Now you don't want to over seam seal, you can do that. And uh, that's never a good thing because there is, these cars are designed to get water in places and then have it run out. If you over seam seal, the water is going to sit there and rust. So you don't want to do that, but this is not that. So we're all good. All right guys, as the compressor is firing up again, just wanted to take a minute to show off what I'm doing here. So on the inside, we've ground it down to where that's gonna be a nice seam there. Same here. This is just about flush across the bottom. Good enough for me. Good enough for uh, government work. In here, it's all gonna be clean for plug welds or spot welds, whatever I do. Now what I have is it's clamped there where it's got to be and I have some sheet metal screws holding it to the original. This clamp here is sucking this in so that this is flush. Just about, These are, this aftermarket panel is not exact. There's going to have to be plastic work. Down here I had to cut it and squeeze it together, re-weld it. But basically I learned this on Fitzy's Fab. What we're doing is cutting it with the die grinder, which is here. We're kind of doing it at an angle to kind of almost get a tighter gap. Uh, so we're going to try that. Uh, but then we'll be just about ready to weld inside, seam sealed, primed. This here where there's like sound deadener or uh, anti-vibration. Uh, we're gonna be using seam sealer, and that'll be that. We'll be golden. We're gonna drill some holes down here for plug welds. And it'll be like brand new. All right guys, so we're just about now ready to do the quarter panel. This part is done, that part's done. This is made, so what we have, it's all red primer. Uh, there's zinc etching primer underneath that primer. The red primer is just so that the seam sealer right here uh, sticks because you're not supposed to put it on a zinc primer or an etching primer. Now this is zinc here. Uh, this is just black something or other. And this is copper weld through. Now on our patch, I zinced the back. The front is bare all around the welds area. I did a spot of red so the uh, seam sealer sticks because I got a little thing we're going to do with that. And then copper in the weld areas. So what we need to do with the sealer. Now before I get into that. I've had this set up now for a butt weld. So it'll be real nice and professional looking. Uh, anyway, what we're doing with the sealer is a SEM 29. 372, just gray, one component sealer. 
The factory has a like foam type material in here. Uh, we'll be replacing it with this. Just kind of like a noise dampener, you know? Red primer. On the back of the patch was prepped with a red scuff pad. So what we're going to do, just grab a stack in a few places, just to uh, get the ball rolling. Thank <laughs> you. 